Well, hi there, everybody, and good Wednesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we uh, uh, look at things the way they've played out over the last 24 hours, four hours, pretty much as expected. Very hot, humid conditions yesterday. We had the strong to severe storms that fired up late afternoon into the evening hours, and now things are fairly quiet this morning. We're going to be looking for exiting clouds this morning, becoming mostly sunny and uh, fairly warm, if not hot again, for most of us and becoming humid once again as that front that has made its way southward will lift back to the north as a warm front. If we see any storms fire, this afternoon it would be across the north and west that chance is pretty low the better chances will come into play as we head towards the evening hours I think the farther north you go, the better chance you have of strong to severe storms, I think especially the northern half of the state of Nebraska here. So we're certainly going to have to watch that threat closely because uh, uh, damaging winds could be a big time threat with some of these stronger storms in northern portions of Nebraska into southern South Dakota. Later into the night, there's still a small chance of some severe weather, although that chance does go down a little bit late, late tonight. And by tomorrow morning, outside of an isolated shower storm to the northeast, I think most of us will be looking at quieter conditions. Partly to mostly sunny skies for your Thursday. It uh, could be a large range in temperatures depending on where that cold front ends up being. A little cooler to the north, warmer to the south. In fact, uh, heat indices could be back over 100 degrees in the southeast. And we do have a small chance of a late day shower or thunderstorm out there, although the severe weather threat looks a little bit lower for your Thursday. Uh, for today, there is an, actually an, there is an enhanced risk across northern portions of Nebraska and the southern South Dakota. And those are areas where I do uh, expect some of the, uh, the biggest threats to severe weather. Again, you're talking about mainly a damaging wind threat. 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts are going to be possible. But then you're also uh, looking at the possibility of maybe some large hail possibly even an isolated tornado or two, but again, winds look to be the biggest threat. Most of us actually have a slight risk of severe weather. I think that's a little overplayed. I don't expect a lot of severe weather farther to the south, closer to about the Tri-City southward. Our chances of severe weather are fairly low uh, because it's gonna be tough to fire storms. There's a pretty strong cap in the atmosphere. And uh, so again, I do expect the better chances to the north. But that said, there is a lot of instability. So if something fires even farther south, severe weather is a possibility. Tomorrow, severe weather chances a little bit lower. It looks like the better chances will be off towards the east. As for your uh, temperatures for today, Upper 80s, lower 90s up north, a small chance of a late day shower storm, better chances this evening. Uh, out west, also a small chance of a shower storm. Look at those highs, uh, low to mid 90s, and then even upper 90s around McCook and Imperial. In the south, we're looking at temperatures in the mid, low to mid 90s around the Tri Cities, and then upper 90s in northern Kansas, mostly sunny skies and humid again as those winds turn more southeasterly with time. It is going to become rather humid later on today, low to mid 90s in the east with decreasing clouds. Your seven day forecast after today, uh, looking at a lot of upper 80s and lower 90s. So very warm, if not a little hot, and uh, again, uh, not as hot as it was yesterday. And uh, going to be humid most of those days as well. A couple of small chances of rain tomorrow and then towards Friday night, Saturday night into Sunday, Sunday night, Monday. Monday night holds one of the better chances of showers and thunderstorms in the seven-day forecast here. But overall, again, a little bit of an active weather pattern. It's going to be very uncomfortable. That's July for you. You get the heat, you get the humidity. That happens a lot this time of the year. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Wednesday.